Hey guys, welcome back to the MIGA YouTube channel. Looking at the best grow light for a two x two in this video. Uh, this list is based on the um, cost of purchasing and then running a grow light for a three year period and goes from the most expensive up to the least expensive being the best. Uh, in this case, it doesn't cover all of the factors. Um, it's really just about the, the price and running cost. So other things look like quality, um, customer service, uh, that kind of thing is not covered, but it should give you a good objective um, guide as to um, which grow light to buy. All of them have been tested in the same way. Um, at the manufacturer's recommended hanging height in a two foot by two foot space, or 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter space with reflective walls around, and at the manufacturer's recommended hang height, which should be the most uh, efficient and uh, optimum setup for the light. So starting off, we've got a very good looking light, the Besva Pro 100 or 1000, I should say. That outputs about 106 watts um, and um, delivers uh, an average power of 543, not at the high end, and a pretty disappointing uh, efficiency of 1.84 micromoles per watt. That's the amount of power reaching the canopy divided by the um, watts consumed. Next one is the S Senelux SE1000. It's mainly uh, UK uh, market light. Very good looking light, uh, panel light, uh, full spectrum again, 103 watts, average power 570. An okay efficiency of 1.99 uh, for that fixture. Then we have the really popular AC Infinity Iron Grid T22. Gorgeous looking light, really nice uh, controller box on it, compatible with all the AC Infinity systems. Yeah, it's kind of square shaped with a hole in the middle. Um, 136 watts consumed, 721 average power, good spread. Uh, but again, a disappointing efficiency of 1.91 micromoles per watt. Not what, um, not what it should be really in my view. Next one, Vivison, quite an innovative light here. Vivison Aerolite 100 watt. It's got, um, it's again this square shape with a hole in it, but it's got a fan mounted in the center that um, can blow the, um, blow the air down onto the canopy and uh, you know cool it down and um, move the air around. So quite a nice fixture there. Um, also connects to the really nice Grow Hope controller uh, and is modular, so you can connect multiple lights together and control them simultaneously. It's full spectrum, 160 watts, 539 power average and efficiency of 1.82. Sort of a pattern there are some really good looking lights, nicely marketed, but maybe not performing as well as they really should be. Then the Mars Hydro TS1000, um, kind of set the standard for these small panel lights uh, back in the day, three, four years ago. This is the more recent model, 149 watts. Uh, it's got the white reflector, not the old um, aluminium dimpled reflector. Uh, 752 power average and efficiency of 1.81. So again, quite low. Then we got the Hadrium, the <laughs> Atrium Hydra 1000 Pro. Um, Really nice looking light too. Nice little dimmer panel, a digital display. Um, 116 watts, average power 669. With a decent spread, efficiency 2.08, which is starting to get where you would like it to be. We have the Grow Wealth G1500 um, for a two by two. This is a 140 watt light and um, has additional channels for um, both uh, UV and infrared, so multi-channel. Um, a nice little fixture um, and uh, yeah, it delivers a nice high average power. You can see there from the power chart efficiency of uh, 2.04, which is pretty good. We then have the uh, Grow Planner um, O-Series uh, panel light, 150 watts, um, app control, um, delivers 824 power average, which is nice, 2.09 efficiency. Uh, nice result there for that one. Then really good value light, the Sincere um, 100 watt, um, available on Amazon, very cheap. Um, a little as $60, I think. Um, not amazing efficiency, uh, 110 watts, 
it's 1.88 efficiency better than some that you're spending a lot more on um, really good as a very cheap budget starter light we've then got our own array 2 which just about visible or are we over there it's a two bar light with them um, remote led driver and um, that's pulling 125 watts from the wall and um, an efficiency of uh, 2.38 you can see there a nice even coverage over the grow area then topping is the viper spectra xs 1500 pro i really like this fixture um, it's uh, it's got lenses it's got three sort of uh, led panels with lenses on the outside panels which direct the light downwards onto the grow get the most incredibly uniform light coverage over the uh, the two by two area um, runs a little bit hot i found with those um, covers over the uh, the leds and um, be interested to hear what you think but um delivers incredible 933 average power and 2.23 um, system efficiency and very good value too i think it's about 110 online but uh, you can get um, uh, coupons to uh, to get even lower price than that on uh, on their own website and um, on amazon i believe as well so overall really nice selection of lights in the two by twos they come a long way from um, these uh, either cobs are very simple uh, quantum board style um, lights some really nicely finished ones not all with the sort of efficiencies that you'd hope for particularly from the bigger brands but lots of choice lots of value and uh, be really interested to hear if you have some of these and um, what you think let me know your feedback on your experience with them It'd be really interested to know take care